All right, Julie, thank you. And the commissioners meeting in Ottawa County looked a lot different this afternoon. Commissioners changed the public comment portion for safety concerns, but some residents are not happy about it. Axel needs Lauren Edwards joining us live after attending that meeting. Lauren. Yeah, guys, I did get a chance to attend that meeting. I was outside first, which was packed earlier, but then I went inside. But no matter where I was, many people were upset about the changes. Take a look at what it looked like earlier. This was the scene earlier today. Dozens of people outside the Ottawa County Administration Building listening to that commissioner's meeting that was going on inside due to a few changes that the commissioners made. Like, if people wanted to speak, they could only go inside in small groups and then come out once they were done. And each person only got one minute to speak at the podium. Chairman Roger Bergman said in the meeting that they made the changes because at the last meeting there was some bullying and heckling and it was unsafe due to COVID. However, some people were upset with the changes. I could come to this public building as a law abiding citizen and you were all here for me. That access was restricted a little bit today. And that was a scary feeling that I hope to never feel again. And that was just a, a soundbite of, of many people, of what they were just feeling out here. Again, they were upset about a number of things, including mask mandates, which they also mentioned, including vaccination. So there was a lot that happened earlier. And I also got a chance to speak with a, a commissioner afterwards who says that, you know, anyone who went into the building, they did not have to give their name and address. That was another concern amongst a lot of people that were out here that they did not have to do that. But if they did decide to speak at the podium, that is when they had to identify themselves. Reporting live here in Ottawa County, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.